Here at Queens in Kingston, we're sitting on a flat limestone shelf with not an awful lot of elevation change available to do hydroelectric generation. However, if we zoom out a bit and take a look around, down here on Prince Edward County, where the ferry crossing goes over at Glenora, there's actually a really interesting geological feature. There's Lake on the Mountain. And if we zoom in further on Lake on the Mountain, we'll notice that there's a steep cliff here going from the elevation of the lake level up on the plateau here down to the elevation of Lake Ontario. Anytime we've got water at the top of a hill and the bottom of the hill, we've got an opportunity for some hydroelectric generation. So let's explore that and see what we can do in terms of taking advantage of this water that's at the top of the hill to generate some power getting it to the bottom of the hill. There's only one catch in all of that. Lake on the mountain, well it's a good size, but it's not getting refilled very quickly by a large river. So if we started taking water down the hill to generate electricity, will eventually empty out the lake in pretty short order. However, if we let the water down the mountain and then pumped it back up to the top, we could keep on doing that process over and over again with a pumped storage system. That would only be advantageous if there were times when we had extra power and times when we had not quite enough power that would justify that time shifting. And that's the challenge posed by a lot of renewable energy situations where we don't have energy available 24-7. We'd like to be able to store it in some kind of a battery. Lake on the mountain could be our battery. If we can store water at the top of the hill and let it out when we most need the power, we can get that power on demand rather than only when the sun shines or the wind blows.